Hey guys, it's Sam, and this is my very brief discussion of Nona the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. This is neither a gush or a gripe, and this will have spoilers in it, so if you haven't read this book, check out my spoiler free review, which is on the screen. But anyway, I, I don't have enough, like, big feelings about this, but I'm mostly using this as a space for you guys that take all the notes and do all the things to tell me what happened. I mentioned this in my review in case you didn't watch it, but um, I am not the kind of reader for this series that reads it and then analyzes it and rereads it and rereads it and takes notes, which I kind of feel like you need to do for to get everything, right? There's so many references and so many little things and like hints and things and that's just not me. I read it for like the overarching broad strokes and then I kind of go back and watch fandom videos and things like that to get all the pieces, but they're still just like, I don't know. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I know and all that I don't and, and my feelings about things. So Nona, as a character, like I mentioned in my review, just not my cup of tea, I deeply miss Gideon and Harrow. And I get that they are changed people, but I miss them. Uh, so her as like a naive baby 19 year old who like is really more like a six month old and like is just sweet and innocent, just not my style for this series. Uh, but I didn't get the part, I had to watch the videos on this. So she's, a, a piece of Electo soul is in there. So she was like essentially a piece of Electo soul stuck in Harrow's body, essentially, like a resurrection beast. So that's why when she made some of the noises and like whatever, she's essentially possessed by a resurrection beast because Electo is essentially a resurrection beast of Earth. I didn't, I didn't gather all of this <laughs> until I watched videos on it. I'm a little confuddled, confused if you will, about how Electo's personality would be like that? Or is it just like, oh, it's a fragment and that's why like she does, like that's all very kind of confusing to me. I'm like, why is Electo like this then? Like whatever. And we're going to raise Electo. Electo's been raised, right? As of the end of the book, Electo's been raised. Harrow's back in her body, barely. Um, Gideon is being referred to as Kire or something. Um, it is Gideon and is not, and like is dead and is not, and it's all wild. So yeah, like Nona as a resurrection beast possessed Harrow, confusing, I didn't catch that. And I don't know why she's acting the way she does. I didn't care about any of the kids. So like beautiful Ruby and Kevin and hot sauce and what, eh, are they gonna tie in in any kind of important way? I don't know, there's like this blood of Eden tie, don't really care. The angel or aim has a message, messenger. This is like, eh, well it's a messenger, whatever. I feel like that's a reference to that. Um, aim, you have a message, I hope you never have to, all the stuff at the end. Don't really know who aim is. Do you guys know who aim is? I really, I didn't. Pira Deve is stuck in Gideon the First body, but Gideon the First is dead. So some fun like gender stuff is sort of explored there and I just like how that was written about. Cam and Pal were sharing the same body. Now they're fused and they're Paul. I hope that doesn't end up happening to Harrow and Gideon because I want them to be two separate people still. And I think that they can be because they don't need to be in one body because Gideon has their own body, like whatever. Um, because I, I do deeply, like I liked Cam and Pal as separate and I don't like that they're Paul now. Um, also, I always read them as romantic. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of lines in here that are like very deeply romantic with them and just like how soulmate-y they are. Um, but yeah, I don't love that. I'm okay, but I don't love it. But I'm okay with that being a narrative choice, you know? What else, what else? We suffer, I don't know, was we suffer someone from before? Do we, was we suffer someone that we knew before? Was the other, the, the bodyguard that was with we suffer and aim? Uh, someone with a P. Is that someone we knew from before? I don't know, I couldn't tell you. The stuff of like Ianthe and uh, Crown, who is, I'm forgetting her name right off the top of my head. Corona, Corona Beth. Love that. Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss. Love them. But yeah, are those other characters that had other names, people that we knew or they knew? I don't know. We have these little things with John, God John, uh, talking about like how necromancy started. Okay, cool. I'm sure because it's like John 218 or whatever, I'm sure that's references to parts of the Bible. I looked it up once and then I was like, no. Again, I'm, not, I'm just not, I'm just not, you know? I, I'm, I don't want this to be a case that I don't want to take notes. I just want to read it. So all those little bits, cool. Um, and then they're releasing Electo, and then Electo's gonna to want to kill John because they need to keep them separate or whatever. That, that's it. That that's that. Again, I didn't really care about like 
just all of this dragged a bit for me, honestly. And I miss the bone shit. I miss her being able to construct bone things and do creepy bone shit and, and just, do, just do all the bones. So I'm excited for that to come back in Electo. Um, is there anything I missed? I liked a little six-legged dog. Don't know why there's a six-legged dog. They're mutated now. It's just the future. I don't know. I feel like that's it. Did I miss things? Are there important things? Is, and has anyone made videos that go all over all the, all the stuff that I would have missed? Again, there's a lot of TikTokers that do this, so I've been watching a lot of them. But yeah, it's fine. I, I just went the last book, you know? Um, Gideon and Harrow are my two favorites. Gideon, I think, is my favorite of all of them because I just loved all the elements of that. But each one, I mentioned this in my review, feels tonally different, each book in this series. So I'm interested to see what the tone of Electo is gonna be. But yeah, all shit's breaking loose, all hell's breaking loose. She's out of the tomb. More bone magic. I want, I want the bone shit. I want the culmination of all the stuff. I did like having Gideon back and Gideon being sassy. A sassy little shit. But yeah, that's it. So comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if there's things I missed. There obviously are. Thank you all for watching. I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.